Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to rig character with Duik Basil 2. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepeed.com. I will add download link and project files. So, let's first select these foot layers and lock. Then, select this hand, hand left. Let's zoom to layer. Okay, go to solo and click this icon for black background and go to puppet pin. Let's click here and let's add three puppets. One here and one here and here. Click station tool and go to puppet engine, change, legacy. Click OK. Then go to window and open do bezel 2 and go to click rigging. Okay, select this puppet and go to add bones okay right now we have three bones and let's select this puppet pin 3 link to puppet pin 2 and select puppet pin 2 link to puppet pin 1 and select these three puppets go to again dig click auto rig i key okay nice so let's say control it and close settings let's see how to work it Okay, very nice. So, let's unsolo all layers and select this puppet pin 1. Let's link to character body. Select body, go to solo and select pump behind the icon. Move the anchor point down. Let's click this icon for see background. Okay, move to down. Click station tool and unsolo. Let's press air. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So, select these foots. Let's unlock. Select foots. Move to up here. And select body. Let's see. Press air. Okay, select these foots again. Let's move to up. Select body. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So again, select these foot layers and lock. So, in this time, let's select this hand right. Go to solo. And click this icon for black background. And let's go to puppet pin. Let's add again here, one here, and one here. Click station tool. Make someone for this layer. Go to puppet engine. Change legacy and select this puppet here or here and go to click add bones okay right now again we have three bones and let's select this puppet three let's link to puppet two select puppet two link to puppet one and select this puppet one let's link to character body again and let's select these three puppets go to do click auto rig i key okay Let's see. Nice. So let's unsolo all layers. And let's see. Nice. And select body. Okay, very good. So friends, let's close the basil window and let's select these face elements let's select this eye brown nose and eye black eye white air left and air right let's link to head select head let's link to body and go to head solo select palm behind move the anchor point down click station tool and unsolo let's press air Okay, nice. Select this here. Let's see. Okay, let's link to here. And select this here back. Go to solo. Let's click for background. And select palm behind. Move the anchor point up. Click station tool. And unsolo. Then select this here back. Let's link to here. And select this here. Press air. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And we can animate 
here back press air let's see nice so in this time let's select these hand puppet layers or pins and hide layers okay and let's click toggle switch modes click this icon then go to here click for hide all layers okay nice so select this i white let's zoom to face and let's press s click this icon for eye blink animation like this okay in this time select this eye black and go to the toggle switch let's go to alpha mate and click here select eye white here eye white okay then select eye white for enable layer and press s let's see okay very nice and let's go to layer new and null object let's move to app and hold control double click palm behind icon for move anchor point center click station tool and press s chain scale like this and let's select this i white and i black nose and i brown let's link to null object select this null let's see and select this a right and a left also link to null layer select null let's see okay nice and let's change null name face control okay nice okay so let's make simple animation this hand controller and let's make animation with expressions let's press p and select here right mouse separate dimension and i want to make exposition animation like this and hold alt click this exposition for open expression then right here wiggle one eight and for down expression click this empty area let's see okay not bad so we can change this to let's see okay let's change this five okay not bad let's finally change this one dead five or three okay not bad so let's edit expiration and select this wiggle ctrl c for copy and select this hand left press p and go to here right mouse separate dimension and go to first second hold alt click x position ctrl v for paste click empty area let's see now okay we have problem with this controller let's select this and move it down let's see okay nice so in this time let's select this body press air and hold alt click rotation for open expression right here again wiggle someone and let's see okay let's change this zero dead five okay not bad and let's select this face control let's link to hit and select hit press air hold alt click this rotation and control v this expression let's see okay not bad endless animation with 
expressions. This way it's easy and fast. Okay, so let's make eye blink animation. Let's zoom to here and select this eye white, press S and go to 5 frames, make sketch chain frame, go 3 chain frames, 1, 2, 3. For shortcut, you can use page down in keyboard and let's chain scale like this. Go to 3 chain frame again, 1, 2, 3 and let's zoom to here. Select first shape frame, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select shape frames, make easiest. And let's see. Nice, not bad. So, let's select these eye blink shape frames, Ctrl C, go to here, Ctrl V for random animation. Let's one here. And let's go to here, press N for select work area, right mouse, and click trim, come to work area. And let's one here. Okay, not bad. So, let's select this face control and press P. And let's make new parts in chip frame. Go to 10 chip frame. Let's move to here. Okay, let's select first chip frame. Move right a little bit. Okay, nice. And make new passing chip frame, go to 10 chip frame, move it down, and go to here, make new passing chip frame, go to 10 chip frame, move it up. Okay, this is random chip frames. You can make your chip frames how to like you. And let's see. Okay, so let's select these chip frames, hold Alt, move to right, and select chip frames, move to right like this. And this moves right. Okay. So, let's select this here. Press R. And let's hold Alt click this rotation icon for close expression. And go to here. In this time, let's make rotation. Go to some chip frames and chain rotation like this. Let's see. Okay, here. Let's again make new chip frame and I will make timing for this face control. Let's go to here. Move it down like this. Okay, and here. Make new rotation. Go to 5 chip frames. Chain rotation like this. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Select chip frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, nice. So, for bones FX, select is here. Hold shift, press P. Make new passing chip frame. Go to center. Move it down. Like this. And go to last shape frame. Select first shape frame. Control C, Control V. Select shape frames. Make easy. Let's see. Nice. And select the three passing shape frames. Control C. And go to here. Let's Control V. And go to here. Control V. This is for dynamic animation and realistic character. Okay, very good. So, for better animation, we can animate these eyebrows and this hair. It's very easy. And so, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.